All right, today I'm going to be showing you how I glamatize this unit. This unit came from, or I got it from OMG Queen Hair. It is the Beyonce Cut inspired um, ball style. And I'm going to be taking it into a aquamarine-ish, teal-ish, blue-ish <laughs> mixture of a color. All right, so the first thing you're gonna need is your 30 developer, um, at least two bottles, your bleaching powder, mixing bowl, and the brush, applicator brush. And I use two colors for this look, clover, and the other one is aquamarine. And I mix those two colors together. You'll also need some clips, uh, some hair bows, rubber bands, a comb, mannequin head, and the T-pins or push pins, whatever you want to call it, to hold the uh, unit on the mannequin head as your style. Alright, the first thing I'm going to do is bleach the knots. It just helps, for me, it helps my lace fronts look more like scalp. Um, so you don't see as many of the black knots on there. So I'm just taking the developer and mixing it with the bleaching powder until it's a pretty thick consistency. You can actually get it thicker than the consistency, consistency that I got it in. All right, and you just want to turn the unit inside out so that you see the lace. And I'm going to, you're going to lightly place the bleach on the um, lace. Be careful not to push it down on it because you don't want the bleach to go through uh, into the actual hair. So just lightly place it, very lightly. Even though it looks like I'm not doing it lightly, it is, it just looks like that. So just lightly place it on there. All right, and once you've gotten it all over the lace, uh, you can leave it on there, um, I don't know, I guess around 15 to 30 minutes, depending on how fast it takes. And, and I'm just showing you the difference. It does look a little bit more like scalp. Now, I definitely could have left it on there longer. However, I was being lazy, and this hair really did not um, process as quickly as my other units have. So. You could have left it on there longer, but it's good enough because I'm going to use concealer anyway. Alright, and as you can see, I attempted to separate the hair into um, four, about four sections because I thought it would be easier for me to start the ombre process. Um, however, I should have just I'm taking the hairball off before I put the bleach on it because it was getting on my nerves. So, yeah, you want to take the hairball off after you have sectioned it on whatever section you're putting the color on. It's, it was a hassle trying to take it off, as you can see. 
but yeah just start at the ends put the bleach on there and go up as far as you want your color to be on your unit and be careful not to have one straight line so that's why I turned the brush to the side to get it um, not so uniform as I went up the hair And then continue the um, process to the rest of the sectioned off hair and um, take the hairball off and then comb it through and then just continue the process and make sure you start at the very end of the hair. All right, and I finished coloring it. Now, this hair did not get light, as light as it should have, so, but anyway. So I went ahead and mixed the two rinse colors, Clover and Aquamarine, in a large mixing bowl. Be careful with this process because the color can get everywhere. So, I just, um, I didn't measure anything, so I really don't know. I wouldn't tell you about how much, but I just eyeballed it and I put it equal or tried to put an equal amount of both as equal as possible because I just wanted it to be um, just a mixture of the two colors. I mixed it together with the applicator brush um, before I placed it on the actual hair. One thing you want to make sure that you do when putting the color on it is make sure you saturate the, all of the parts of the hair that you want the color to be on because I accidentally looked back and um, I missed a couple spots and patches so I had to go back and put it back on there. So just make sure you um, get the color all throughout the hair. And then once you do, let it sit for um, a couple of hours. I actually let mine sit overnight just to be sure that the color was on there. Hi, uh, YouTube. <laughs> I was about to say Facebook. All right, so this is how the color came out. I had to let it down, but yeah. Um, overall, I really love it. Oh, shit, let me just let that piece go. There we go. Okay, I love it. The only thing, let me just say this. Um, I've used this company's uh, units before and I've colored it before like I've bleached it or whatever before and it took to color fine for some reason um, this hair would not process like I had to go back and like reprocess it 
um it wasn't light enough so i had to go back and lighten it some more and it still it never got to where like the other units the same company the same hair got to the light the lightness of it okay so yeah so it was really like this was the most aggravating color experience ever like first of all it wouldn't process it wouldn't process quick enough or at all like to the it was like a really dark um light color and i had to go back and reprocess it and then the um hair dye the um rinse that i put over it i don't know what i was putting it on i was rushing i was already frustrated because of the lightness of it um so i was frustrated and i missed like it was like patches like where i didn't put enough of the color i had to go back and do that overall it was such a hassle well, it wasn't such a hassle it was just annoying you know it was it wasn't a big deal but it was annoying but um because i was doing other things at the same time and i just didn't have time to fool with it so overall um but when it was over when i the, the color finally came out you know i was at the end of the day i was i was pleased i'm pleased with it now i really love it now because um looking back you know i guess it's a good thing it wasn't too too bright because I actually like the, it's bright, but it's not like walking around looking like a damn Crayola box. So, okay. So, you know, it worked out okay. The color came out nice. And I'm um, rushing because I have to go somewhere in a second. So, I hope you guys enjoy the um, tutorial. And I hope it helps someone who's interested in this color. And I will leave information about the actual cut, the unit or whatever, what it was called. And where I got it from in the description right below. So, until next time, take care.